Hey, fellow mover. Somatic movement is all about getting things unstuck from within your body. Things like energy, tension, emotions. So here are my top five go-to somatic movements. Hi again, fellow mover. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa, and today I'm your guide on a journey to embodiment through movement. And if you crave more, I post new videos here every Friday. Now it's time for us to explore movements that feel good. Embodiment is all about tapping into your innate wisdom and unique essence, and movement is a great tool to get you there. So let's leave our inhibitions and self-judgment behind, and let's move. But first I have a special invitation for you. My Costa Rican movement experiences are now available for registration and my early bird special runs until June 1st, 2024. So I invite you, if you're interested in coming down to blue zone of Costa Rica to move and get embodied with me here on these pristine beaches, act now drop a comment down below let me know that you're interested and we'll book a video chat and get on it or you can check the link in the descriptions box down below all right guys let's get into our practice today first i want you to feel your feet underneath you grounding grounding into the floor your toes spreading and feeling the contact from your big toe to your baby toe to your heel. That strength can travel up through your legs like you are a tree trunk planted into Mother Earth. And from here, let your knees soften and embody a willow tree blowing in the wind, just swaying from side to side. Ah and using your breath to take you from one side to the other. Ah. Taking this moment to come into your body, to really start listening to your body, asking it what feels good, what does the body need and what does the body want? What is the body's truth? What is the body's wisdom? Mm. Ah. We can also make this a sway that twists us a little bit from side to side. Turns our heart one way, turns our heart the other. Ah. Still blowing back and forth with those feet, keeping us grounded, keeping us grounded, even though the wind is getting a little bit more wild throwing us around a little bit more. But as in life, we've got this. We've got our feet firmly planted and no matter what wildness comes our way, we got it, okay? And now this pattern moves right into my next pattern, my second of five. And this is an infinity pattern for the arm. But first, check your space, my friends. Make sure that you have room to reach your arms around, all around you. Nothing will knock. And then explore. Explore tempo, explore intensity, explore volume and height as we make infinity patterns with the arms. Ha! Ah, while we keep our feet firmly grounded into Mother Earth. Ah, and we explore what feels good ha, ha, with infinity patterns for the arm. And if it doesn't feel good to you to go fast or high with the arms, then we tame it down to what does feel good. And tomorrow we can notice if it feels different than it did the day before. And in a month from now, we can again assess and see how our capabilities are expanding from practicing simple movement patterns that release. Ha, ha, throw away your tension, my friends. Throw away the worries right now. Just come into the sensation. Ha, ha, of releasing. Ha, 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 ha. 
Pup. Beautiful. And we can fade out of that infinity pattern and move on to our third pattern, which involves bouncing. Simply bouncing it out. Here again, we have the feet firmly planted into Mother Earth, and we're allowing our knees to do our little shake, our little bounce up and down. We'll spend a little bit of time here because time vibrating the internal organs and the fascia means that it has time to release and let go and encourage circulation. Ha, 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 ha. You can use your breath. Ha, ha, ha. You can make some sounds. Ha, 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 ha. Hi and low. Ha, 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 ha. Shake things up. See if you can target your bounce to your shoulder blades, to your neck, to your jaws, ha, 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 ha. to your butt, to your fingers. Ha. Beautiful. And there we go. We're fading out of a bounce. And once again, we're just letting it all go. Well, we reach the arms up high to the sky and then throw away any more tension that we might have in the body. Ha! Just flick it off. Reach and let the arms just drop and swing. Ha! Even the knees kind of drop and you sink into the ground and just throw it away. Yes? Inhale up and ha! Like your arms are overcooked spaghetti noodles being pulled to the sky and dropped and they dangle. Woo. It's nice. Woo. Throw it away and let it go. Ha! Use your breath. In through the nose. Ha! Let it out. Ha! Let it out. And very nice. And let them swing and fade to a standstill. Before we get into our fifth and final somatic movement practice for today, uh, it's a spinal wave. And we're going to try it here from standing for a moment, where we move forward with the nose, then the heart, then the pelvis. And once one point moves forward, it then pulls back. This can be practiced facing the wall, but we're going to take it down even a notch further today and come to the ground. Okay, friends, so we're practicing our spinal wave from the floor and there's so many ways we can do so. I want to just show you that you do have all these options to explore. The first one being from your knees, if that's a position that's available to you. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. Ah, finding a gentle wave travel from the crown of your head down the spine. Ah, as if there's a string attached to the crown of the head that pulls you forward and back and the body just waves with that pull, inhaling and exhaling. Ah. We can do this from any seated position as well. Legs crossed. Ah, straddle wide. But no matter the position you're sitting in, allow that wave to create the circulation that you need through your energy centers. From your crown chakra to your third eye and to your throat and your heart and your solar plexus, and your sacral chakra, all the way down into the root chakra, creating that flow of harmonious energy up and down the internal circuitry of your body. That's where all energy. Ah, this is just a lovely opportunity to connect with your breath, your body, and be grateful for the world. Mm. Ah. One last position we'll try is from lying on our back. 
as if we're coming into a bridge position so that the knees are bent and the feet are under us. Once again, we have an opportunity to create waves up and down the energy centers of the body, initiating that movement from the pelvis. Ah, it can be very small or it can be bigger and bigger. Once again, we use the breath ah, to help create that flow of energy circulation ah, and reversing ah, these are some powerful moves I highly encourage you to practice them on the regular ah, woo. all right my friends thank you for moving with me and doing what it takes to raise your vibration and find joy in the simple things of life with me here. And if you're interested in joining me here in beautiful Costa Rica to get embodied and grounded and strengthened, I'd love to share the experience with you. Drop me that comment below or check out the descriptions box down below. The time is now. Early bird special runs until June the 1st, 2024. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. And until we do this again, keep moving naturally for life. Mwah.